to tell you something. What do you want to tell them? I like building the most. You like building the most? Do you like coming to the stem cell clinic? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Is everyone nice? Yes. My name is Christy Kayaki. I'm mother to Jacob. Jacob is almost 10 years old this year and we are from uh, San Angelo, Texas in the United States. Our journey started, well, uh, many years ago when he was diagnosed at two and a half and uh, seeking any kind of services, any kind of way to give him a better quality of life. So before stem cells treatment, my child was still very, he was social enough that he wanted to be included, but didn't know how to communicate or to be included. And it's hard when they're at that young age, um, in between his, let's say, three to six year old age. So we were struggling to find inclusive groups that it would allow him to be in there and still have opportunities, even with his limitations that he had. We did all the usual things that doctors prescribed, therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, ABA therapy, and we did that for a continuation of many, many years. Then in 2019, I immediately went to your website here, and I had seen that you had your autism protocol up on it, and so I downloaded it and I read every single bit about it. So we thought, there's nothing there to lose. Let's give it a shot to give our child a better quality of life. It's hard to prepare him for something that I didn't even know. So when we checked in, we met so many other families here that allowed us to realize we weren't the only ones. And then this was, and we met them from all over the world. He's already a loud stimmer, already a very vocal stimmer. And that first treatment, it kind of worked him up. I thought, oh my goodness, oh, I hope everything's great. And then after about six weeks, it, it was like the mind cleared up and, and more words came out. It's very interesting to see his mind working and thinking of how he can build his own schedule. Whereas prior to stem cells, he just went whatever you know, wherever you're gonna put him, you're gonna put him and you're gonna do. Now he wants to be in control of it. So he has that awareness and he has that consciousness of what his feelings are and is able to now express it to somebody. So from our first treatment and them giving us the help we needed by helping secure him and making sure we were all felt safe and comfortable, fast forward to the third treatment and he said, I've got this, don't worry mom. To anybody that is considering stem cells, I would tell them do it. Faith, there is fear, there is concern always at the beginning. But when you look at the studies, you can tell that it's making a difference in people's lives because each time it has built on those blocks of the prior time and each thing has gotten better and better and better for us.